So on the new website for Figma Academy, I have a lot of scrolling gradient transitions. So you can see the colors actually change as you scroll down the page. For instance, this is going from a more warm tone here and it actually transitions into this cooler green and purple. And I've had quite a few people ask how that's set up. So I wanted to make a quick video to show you because it's actually really simple and you can totally do it on your own projects if you're familiar with Webflow and already using Figma. All right, so if we hop into Figma, you'll see I actually created a set of gradient backgrounds. All you have to do is create a frame that contains the blur. And this has to be set to clip content because we're gonna have a lot of stuff inside it spread all over the place. And then I add my layer blur here. And I've been kind of massaging different numbers. I normally am around like 500 at this size, but you'll have to decide how much blur you want in your designs. Within those blurs, you'll see it's just a collection of a bunch of random shapes like so. And all I did was use this blob plugin to generate a bunch of wacky shapes. And then I'll stretch them and play with them to kind of get them how I want. And within each of these, all I'm doing is using the colors and gradients from my Figma Academy style guide. So I know that they're all gonna look cohesive together. And I try to get it to the point where depending on which section I'm doing, it's either gonna be much more subtle transition or much more stark. So for these testimonials that I showed you in the video earlier, I'm going from this pink purple to this green and blue, and it's quite a large contrast. But for something like this video player, I wanted that to be much more subtle. So you can see it kind of goes from what I call tangerine to cherry, but it's almost not even noticeable. Maybe it's more for my own benefit, honestly. And all I've done there is just stack these gradients so that it looks like it's one continuous gradient between the two. Okay, once I have this, all I've done is export these as JPEGs and then I load them into Webflow. And you might think it's crazy to do JPEGs instead of actually building the gradients in Webflow. The reason I did it this way is actually, I think I can get it to be more performant when I'm not dealing with the filter blurs in Webflow, it's hard to get that to work in every browser. And when you're tying a scroll position to a real time blur, I didn't really like how it ended up. So I started playing around with using background images and I love it. And so that's the tactic that I'm showing in this video. Within each section that I wanna have a gradient scroll, I have a background container. And that background is absolutely positioned to be 100% width and 100% height. So no matter how far this section stretches, my image is gonna cover it. And then within that, I have the JPEG files where I have background one and background two. And the most important thing is you want background one to have a slightly higher Z index than background two. So you'll notice this is auto and this is one. And I've done this setup for everywhere that I'm fading gradients, even here, video player background, background one, background two, even in here, mock-up background, one and two. All you have to do once you have that setup absolutely positioned, which both of these images are absolutely positioned as well because we want them to stack on top of each other. Now I go up to the parent section. So in this case, it would be the testimonial section I go to my interactions tab and then I have a while scrolling in view transition and you can see it says testimonials gradient scroll and this part is super easy. All I need to do is set the original opacity of the top image. So in this case, it's background one. I need to set that to 100% and once we scroll out of the section, it goes to zero. And what that's going to do is create the effect where the color is changing continuously throughout because that background image is fading in. There you have it. 
it's that simple. Ping me if you have any questions, but I hope that this unlocks some really awesome gradient ideas of your own, and I'm excited to see what you build.